Hey everyone, it's Fab Jen. I'm back with another video, and today's video is going to be on the new Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation in the color Golden Almond, aka 6.75, is one fluent ounce. Ranges from $49 to $52, and yeah, let's get into it. So the packaging is typical to Bobbi Brown. It's got the beautiful Bobbi Brown, um, what would they call it, font to it, which is iconic, at least to me, for Bobbi Brown's products. Black, beautiful, slick packaging on the outside. The actual bottle itself is a be beautiful, excuse me, <laughs> cylinder frosted uh, bottle with a cylinder top to it as well, which the other ones that I can remember didn't have those tops. They had little mini tops to pull off of the pump, but this one actually has a full top to it. It's very uh, secure. You pull it off and then it reveals the pump. I love the packaging. Looks great on the vanity. Full coverage. This is in no way, shape, or form full coverage, light to medium. If you get it up to medium full, girl, you put about 10 pumps on your face. So on the safe side, if you are a light coverage kind of person, this is going to be medium full for you. If you are a full coverage girl, this is going to be medium coverage on you. So if you want to build this up to full, you're going to have to do, like today I did six pumps and I went ham with the powder and concealer to get this type of flawless look. Long wearing. It is very long wearing. I've worn it for more than eight hours. I haven't noticed any fading. My blush is still there. My highlights still there. My brows are still there. Everything still looks in relatively pristine condition. I would recommend this for somebody who wants an everyday foundation, who wants to put it on and walk out the door because the color match for me Personally, it's my top three. I really shouldn't be skipping ahead. I'm actually skipping ahead to some of my pros, but why the hell not? But it's one of my top three. This is one of the few foundations that I don't have to contour with. I can. It matches my skin so well and my natural skin comes through that I don't have to contour to bring back dimension into my face. So it's very much skin-like, poreless. Mm -mm. I would not say that this is a top poreless foundation. I still see my pores. I still see texture, especially since I have eczema mostly around here and a little right here. It doesn't hide that texture or smooth anything out. So what I say is poreless, I say in my opinion it's not poreless. Nothing on God's green earth is going to make you shine free. If you are oily, combination oily, slightly oily, an inch from oily, you are going to be oily no matter what. It's natural, it's a preservative for your skin, so embrace your oils. but. I know that it doesn't look cute in photos, it doesn't necessarily look cute throughout the day, but you want to embrace your oils. Oils eventually give you a nice glow. You just don't want your face to look like an oil slick. So with that being said, at that five hour mark, I do get a little oils breaking through around my nose. Nothing looks nasty, greasy, or broken up. It just looks like I have a little bit of shine. Real easy blot and powder. If you are really extremely oily, then you will have to powder after that. Around the eight hour mark, I have an all over glow, but it's nothing where I have to blot it. I think absolutely this does minimize oils. I can actually feel my pores being forced not to produce oils, if that makes any sense. I can feel almost like an irritation or a tightening in my face around the five hour mark to eight hour mark, and it gets kind of annoying, but that's because the foundation is doing its job. I'm in Texas right now, so it's not really hot because it's the winter time, but I have gone to the gym with this and it's done beautifully. I've sweated, I've, you know, touched my face and I find that it actually lasts a very long time. Very pleasantly surprised. So let's get into the pros. It looks like skin. It looks so much like skin that I don't have to contour. The color match is my top three color matches. It's absolutely amazing. The color selection is amazing. Always per Bobbi Brown from the lightest to the deepest. I think there's anywhere from four to six more shades deeper than my skin tone. I'll have that listed in the screen. Uh, it does have, it is very deep toned friendly. It's also very pale friendly too as well. It has very nice packaging. It's easy to access and what I mean I by that. I find that it didn't oxidize on me, that it was very true to color, so I did appreciate that. This is a great everyday foundation. I think this is great for work. I think this is great for the gym. I think this is great for going grocery shopping. I think this is great for just if you want to slap something on really quick and effortlessly and walk out the door. Bobbi Brown Aesthetic is kind of known for that. One of my pet peeves with Bobbi Brown's products, especially their foundations, is the fact that there is a smell to them and most of them have lavender in it and it's that lavender 
that stinks like hell to me. I hated it. This one is no exception. And I have a couple of their products that have that fucking lavender smell to it. I can't stand it. Now, I think because of that lavender that's in that product, my skin typically doesn't agree with some of Bobbi Brown's products. This one, for me, honestly caused my eczema to go in overtime. And I think that's because of the mattifying properties which dried out my skin, then plus the lavender which my skin typically doesn't like anyway. Then I got a little bit of cloggage right here, a little bit of uh, acne situation, not acne, but uh, I could feel there was there was a mini little acne situation going on here. I call it reactive acne and I did notice a little bit of that and I have been using this product for almost two weeks and yeah, test this out, get a test. Get a tester, get a tester, get a tester because this will, this could potentially break you out, especially if you have a sensitivity to fragrance, especially lavender. I think for me, I would wear this in the summertime, revisit it, and I might re-review it just to see how it performs in the summertime. But other than that, I, I really like this foundation. It's really, really good. It's very skin-like. Now, how does it photo? Because I almost forgot about that. It photos not so well and let me tell you why natural light it actually photos really nice flash anything with lights on it it doesn't give you a cast back but you will see pores you will see textures you will see dry patches you will see things that you are like god damn i was like it won't make you when i saw the pictures i was a little bit shocked at how my skin just looked tired, it looked irritated, it just didn't look good. You saw everything. To me, and I will show you the pictures and you be the judge, but in natural light, it looked the best. It had the color and everything matched beautifully. You are in the market for a new foundation and you just want to wear it for work or to run to the store or to go to family functions and you don't do all of this and you don't do the glam look and you're all about minimalist and you just want something on your eye maybe a little mascara and you want to run out the door this is perfect for you if you have any questions please feel free to ask rate comment and subscribe if you like and i will see you in the next video peace bye